We are officially into severe weather season, which means our WCNC weather team will be talking about thunderstorms a lot more over the next few months. And in this week's Weather IQ, Chris Mulcahy teaches us about one of the most important tools used to forecast these storms. When forecasting severe storms, meteorologists use a bunch of parameters, indices, and models to tell how severe the weather is going to be. One of the most important is called CAPE. And no, I'm not talking about the ones that superheroes wear. CAPE is an acronym for Convective Available Potential Energy. We simplify this by calling it thunderstorm fuel. This index measures how unstable the atmosphere is, and the more instability there is, the better chance we have for storms. Two main things that drive an unstable atmosphere, heat and humidity. The warmer it is, the more moisture the air holds and the faster that air can rise. Quick side lesson, the updraft is the driving force of the storm. The hotter and more humid it is, increases the speed of that upward motion. This makes these thunderstorms, AKA cumulonimbus clouds, so tall. So back to Cape. The higher the Cape is, the quicker the storms can grow. The quicker they grow, the stronger they can become. When Cape is zero to 1,000, this represents a fairly weak environment. 1,000 to 2,500 Cape is moderately unstable. At this point, strong to severe storms have become more likely. And when Cape is over 2,500, the atmosphere is very unstable. Higher valleys of Cape can lead to better chances of large hail, areas of torrential rain that are almost undrivable, intense winds and microbursts, and lightning will become more frequent as well. Tornadoes also need a very high cape, but also need an ingredient called shear to help the storms rotate. This is only one of many tools used to forecast how severe a storm could be, but it's one of the most important. With WCNC Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy.